Hi, in this video I'm going to go over why I personally use red light therapy, how long I've been doing it, and if it's actually helped me. I've been using red light therapy now for about three months. But real quick, just in case you haven't seen another video on what red light therapy can do for you, some of the reported benefits are increased collagen production, reduces joint pain and inflammation, faster wound healing, faster muscle recovery, improves sleep quality, better physical performance, improves the appearance and feel of skin, helps hair regrowth, helps weight loss, and even gets rid of excess cellulite. So red light therapy usually consists of both red light, which is visible light, and near infrared light, which can't be seen. Now the specific product I got recommended you do both at the same time because that would be more efficient and there's two different protocols there's the health protocol and there's the treatment protocol so for the health protocol they want you to be nine inches away do it for 20 minutes per day four days a week for the treatment protocol so it's a little bit more extreme if you actually have like a persistent issue say a skin issue they want you to be six inches away do it 25 minutes per day for five days a week before we get into my experience I do want to say that this video is not sponsored I am a small channel, no one reached out to me or anything. I just wanna share something that actually helped me. And like I said before, I've only been doing this for three months and supposedly some of these benefits might take a longer time, like up to a year or almost a year to start seeing some of these other things that are reported or some of these other benefits that are listed. The reason I bought a red light therapy device is because I've heard that it helps with your sleep. So I'm a chronically bad sleeper or a poor sleeper. It takes me a long time to fall asleep. In the middle of the night, I usually have to wake up one or two times and then I wake up early. When I was doing research, it said red light therapy could help get your sleep cycle back on track. So that's why I got it, the main reason. And the second reason is because I have a skin condition called uh, seborrheic dermatitis. So it basically gets kind of red and itchy along my scalp and certain areas of my cheeks and on my chin. With red light specifically, it said that it can penetrate the skin, improve your collagen production, and also the overall health of your skin. So I was hoping maybe it might benefit me in that way. Now to get what actually happened. I'm gonna say after the first few days of using red light therapy, I noticed an immediate improvement in my sleep quality and how fast I was able to get to sleep. I can confidently say that it was probably due to the red light therapy, just because that's really the only thing I changed in my routine is I added these you know, 25 minutes a day for treatment level Level red light therapy and literally that night I was able to fall asleep faster so for that reason alone I was already pretty satisfied with the whole red light therapy treatment thing as far as the skin I say in general my skin's a little better I don't have as itchy or dry skin now I don't think I've been doing it long enough to say 100% it is the red light therapy to be honest it could just be due to getting better sleep at night which might be reducing my stress but it could be a direct influence from the red light or near infrared light too I can't really really say for sure, but I can say that my skin is better than it was three months ago before I started. Now one of the benefits of red light therapy also is supposed to be with reducing inflammation. I have found that after I do a jujitsu class, I'm usually like really sore in my finger joints the next day. So what I've been trying the last few weeks is putting my hands in front of the red light therapy device for five to six minutes, separate from my normal session. So usually I do kind of face, upper chest. So I'll put my fingers and hands in front of the red light therapy device. And I really think it's just kickstarting that healing process and that recovery process because the next day my hands feel a lot better than they were before I started using the red light therapy. So that's it guys. I wanted to make this a quick video because I'm sure you already have done some research on red light therapy before you came to my video. I just want to let you know if it's helped me and give my honest opinion on it. I will say with the sleep alone because I have experienced a benefit and I believe it's directly attributed to the red light therapy that that alone has made it worth it to me. But I do recommend do some more research uh, if you are interested in the product that I got I'll, I'll link it down below it is an affiliate link but like I said before I'm not sponsored by this company and there's other good products out there too this just checked the boxes for me so a couple of the things I was looking for is to make sure that it wasn't what they call flickering so typically you want a steady light but a lot of the cheaper products might flicker so I didn't want that. I also wanted to make sure that it had the proper power consumption because if it's not using the right amount of power it's not outputting the right amount of power. So power consumption is important because of that. And third, I really didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on one of these commercial size red light therapy devices. In the future, I probably will make that kind of investment. I just wasn't ready for that right now. So real quick, this is the device I used. It's called Best Cool. But like I said, if you're interested, you can look at what I linked down below. If you like it, cool. There's other products that are probably just as good. The things that you're looking for will probably be make sure it doesn't flicker. It's the right power consumption. And also the price range will probably be important to you. 
Now, if you do plan on getting a red light therapy device, you should definitely wear the goggles. For me, the goggles that came with it, I could still see red light and I wasn't very comfortable with that. So I put aluminum foil and tape over the top just to kind of help block out more light. But that might just be me being extra safe. I don't know. But it will still be bright with the goggles. But definitely make sure you're using them. I hope you found this video useful. If there's anything I didn't cover, if you have any questions, please ask them down below in the comments. See you next time.